Hey everyone, so a uh, little first update for the trip, so it's been six weeks since the last trip to the high country, uh, heading back down this morning, you can see behind me over my shoulder that's uh, I'm at Gundagai, so that's the dog on the tucker box, so five hours into the drive, it's about a nine and a half hour drive, so I thought I'd stop here for a little while, get some fuel, have a bit of a walk around, a bit of a break, so it's a uh, it's a bit of a boring drive silo. There's uh, it's just all mainly 110 k an hour, so it's an easy drive, but it's boring, which is fine. So yeah, heading back up into the high country. I was a little bit nervous last week as they'd had nearly a metre of snow, but in the last couple of days since the long weekend, it hasn't really snowed properly and it's melted mostly back I, I believe looking at some of the snow cams up at similar elevation that it's um it's really patchy it only looks like it's five or ten centimeters deep so plan at this stage is, is to get up in there by this afternoon i'll take a bit of an assessment whether i walk in this afternoon so i've got four or five nights worth of food so i might push in tonight i'll just see set up camp um intentions to get under the snow line and hunt some of those uh, northeast and northwestern faces down in there. I was planning under the snow line but if uh, if it's melted nearly mostly back I'll just have to play it by ear when I get in there. See what happens. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, can't guarantee a fantastic viewing experience other than phone footage but it's uh it's better than nothing so anyway see how we go see ya right so i've made the high country um just keep this short and sweet I'm sure you guys don't want to see me dribble crap or video so um yeah snow's pretty good um it's really patchy i'm generally walking just on the edges of it uh so yeah i think uh I won't have to shave as much elevation as I thought I would last week to get beneath the, beneath the snow line. So yeah, we'll um we'll keep plodding in. It's it's sort of raining slash little bit of sleet slash little patches of blue. There was a rainbow before. It's um it's just that typical sketchy high country weather at the moment. So um temperature is about one degree with a tiny little bit of a breeze, but it's um. I had a beanie on back at the car, that's in my pocket, so um, I had the raincoat on at the car, I've already stripped that off when I started to walk in, so I've just got a, a merino top and a, and a mid layer, so it's um it's pretty good, it doesn't take long to warm up when you're walking in, so yeah, we'll chuff on in and um, wish me luck. So um, that was an interesting afternoon, got honked, found a bit of a uh, preach tree and a active wallow, so um, yeah, fair bit of sign, I'm a lot higher in elevation than I thought, I'm at about the 1400 metre mark, so the um, most of the snow seems to have melted off. This is one of the advantages of a hammock, I don't know if you can see and hear the wind but I'm on the side of a slope here so you um you don't need a flat spot which is really nice just duck around here I've got the little door set up all me junk spread out in there so yeah again I won't muck around with this one it's about 6.30 I set up camp in the dark um, I'm about I don't know 300 meters above the wallow that I found uh, yeah, walked in, 
reasonably quickly this afternoon and dropped off the side of a ridge um, on the lee side of the wind and straight away started to pick up some some really fresh sign um, a few scrapes and and dropping so I've sort of followed them down to where I am I got where I could see the sign getting better and better and a little bit more out of this wind um, dropped the big pack and put the raincoat on and a, another layer and I've actually sat above a wallow um, this afternoon right up till dark but nothing came in um, which was a bit of a shame. The wind's probably not the best direction. I was hoping that it was blowing left to right across the wallow, so I probably gave away ground off to the right, but anything that was in the gully to the left wouldn't have been able to smell me, so it doesn't matter anyway, nothing came in. So I don't know if you can hear my chorus of squeaky trees in this wind. There's a heap of them. So it'll be um, earplugs in, into bed shortly up in the dark this morning, uh, tomorrow morning and I'm gonna walk probably about five or eight hundred meters um, with the wind up my bum. Uh, I'm gonna leave camp here um, for tonight and tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll walk back up this ridge, drop down about 200 and then contour around sort of on the same level as the wallow. There's a few faces that I know in there. The weather forecast is for cloudy tomorrow. Um, and then it clears up a little bit uh, Sunday and Monday so um, yeah I'll have a morning hunt then I'm gonna jump that way um, about three or four K and get down in that side so I can get some of those good northeastern faces and a bit more open country hopefully um, shave a few hundred meters elevation I'm at about I'm probably camped at about 1350 um, but yeah I want to get down to sort of that 1200 meter mark and see what's poking about in there so yeah good first day plenty of sign um, looks like the snow's freshly melted heaps of water I've got um I've got nice cold feet in my boots um, from walking in water and snow for three and a half four K so yeah anyway part and parcel as you can see the winds a little bit blowy, I'll tighten that tarp down in a minute. I've just sort of got it all set up now. Um, yeah, see how we go. Just working the glass this morning. Big sunny face up there. Just on the edge of the snow. Big basin in here. Bit of cloud coming in, trying to kill my sunshine. Probably drizzled most of the night, and the forecast is for cloudy today. But yeah, this just screams deer down in here. There's all these faces up here, there's no wind in here. Fairly calm. Those faces up there on the edge of the hill. I'm just not sure. I know it's snowed up by a fair bit and it's probably only melted off in the last few days. But I got honked from above last night, so I know the deer are up high, or whether that was just an animal moving through up high, or, and all that sign and that wallow was a similar elevation to I'm on now and that was that was yesterday's sign so they're in here you'd think they'd be up trying to get in that sunshine out of the wind but I just haven't been able to spot any yet wind's still good keep trying well that's slightly annoying probably know why there's no deer in this Basin. I've just had just down through there four wild dogs contour around that face. So uh, I don't think they actually knew I was here. Probably 
be chasing the sun like the deer, but I know they coexist, but whether they had been wandering around in here all night, scared something off or chased them, who knows, but yeah, it's good to see them so close, it probably only oh, 50 or 60 metres down there, so uh, been up here for probably 10 or 15 minutes and then I've only just seen them now so they must have been slinking about down in there behind those logs and down under this bit of cover down here so yeah I'm not moving quite enough to get close to them so that's a good sign That's for sure. Let's see how wet that mud is. That's this morning. I'm going to follow this bit of a bed I'm on in the sunlight. See what pops up. Nothing's been on this this morning. Water's all settled. There's some wooden scratches and stag marks. But surprised I haven't bumped something in here. We've had a really good stalk through. The wind's been excellent. Been straight on my nose, so seen anything. Back up camp. Head over the ridge a couple of K. Get on some other faces in another whole system. How fresh these are. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm about a hundred metres from camp. Bloody things. So still uh still walking over to camp too. I'm just above the ridge that I need to get onto. Before I drop down I've got to lose about 250 metres elevation in a K through the scrub so uh, that'll be fun but I can see across onto some of the faces that I want to hopefully glass from here and they're not as open as I was hoping uh, looks like a lot of regrowth but saying that there's gaps in it so uh, and there's no snow on it all the snow's just about melted away I can see up on the the tops from here it's they're still white up there but not very much at all it rained most of the night uh, so that I think melted most of it even down under where I camped there was a patch of snow and that melted away or it had melted away when I went through there this morning so yeah it's um, probably a northwesterly breeze at the moment which is as predicted um, it's about four or five degrees so really good Good, uh, good travelling temperature. The bush isn't too noisy. It's nice and wet. I've been able to follow some pretty good deer pads down into here. So, yeah, I've probably got the um, the hard bit to go now. So, we'll drop off this ridge and see if I can find a campsite on it. Good news is, I haven't fallen over yet. I've got the uh, the sissy sticks out, the walking poles and. I don't know how many times they've saved me falling over. It's um, I don't know if you can see it. In here, it's just all this eucalypt regrowth, and um, and all this small shit that's fallen down slope. So it's super slippery. They're all um, everything's damp from the the recent snow as well. So it's um, it's one of those routes that look better on the top A map than. It is in reality. It's probably about a. Uh, it's probably about a 35 degree slope, maybe 30. So um, yeah, I should be about 300 meters from camp at the moment, but it's all down through this garbage. So it's um, it's pretty slow, and it's uh, it's hard work. So I'm looking forward to getting there and having a sit down anyway. 
just got hooked big time. About 30 metres down there on the spur. I've just come absolutely bashing down this ridge. It's taken me about an hour to go 700 metres. It's probably taken me more than an hour, but... You wouldn't think that there'd be a bloody deer hanging around with me making all that noise. And I've got this bit of a flat spot where I was going to camp and... Yeah, just down there, it's smashed down, it's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> anyway, I'm, um, I'm probably on a better elevation now. That last bit down there, there was no sign or anything down there, it was just dog shit, so... Just windfall, just dead dogwood, regrowth, um... Yeah, so... I'll keep poking down this spur and find somewhere to camp, but... That was pretty funny. It was very unexpected, considering where I am and how much noise I've just made coming down this hill. So, yeah. So I've dropped down to about 1,100 metres, but it's so noisy in here. It's just all this bloody windfall and shrubs, and well, that's what I've just had to come down through. I've bumped a pretty tidy stag. Just before I set up camp. So I got honked by that first year and I only went another 50 metres and there was another one, so um in two opposite directions, so it's just um I think I need to just come to terms with it, it's gonna make a shit ton of noise and try and get down under this stuff. It's um I don't mind being in the bush but yeah this is um this is sort of next level stuff. I, it's um, I'm amazed that I got as close to the two other deer that I did, but you got no hope of seeing them in it. So yeah, I'm gonna just try and drop down again. Really is a uh, dog shit bush down in here. I don't know how I'm gonna get down there. There's just windfall everywhere and. Eucalypt and wattle regrowth all through it. It's um, it's a bit disappointing. It's um, I can't even find a bloody game trail through it. So, it's yeah, it's pretty savage in here. Shaved a fair bit of hide off. The um, little gully down under camp that I thought would hold water after all the snow. You can see where even all the snow's melted. It's um. Draws a bone, which is a shame. So I've either got to make the decision tomorrow to to drop all the way down to the creek, which is about another 150 metres vertical through this shit with a pack on, or whether I go back up higher. Decisions, decisions. We shall see, but it's pretty um it's pretty impossible to hunt this stuff at the moment anyway. I can see a little bit off to the opposite face, but even that's thick like this. I was hoping it was a little bit more open over there, but it seems to be sort of three metre, four metre high regrowth. Hmm. Let's think about what I'm gonna do tomorrow. This cluster. Oh, and just there. There's a tiny little gap in the timber. Just pass through. It's just so thick in here. I just can't get a better angle. I'll try and skirt up to the left, maybe get a, a different aspect. But I don't like my chances down here. A shower blowing in across there. I think Larson down on here. I saw that doe. <laughs> no, I was probably over in that stuff, but I can get angles on country a long way away, but the close stuff's just like I'm trying to move through this. To change aspects, and it's it's like this right down to the creek, which 
makes it really hard and I got honked by those two deer earlier and I've seen the doe but there's much fresher sign up on the top so at least you can find a a game trail I was on pretty good game pads till about probably 1300 meters elevation and then it just um it just turned into all this stuff so I don't know I think in the morning I'm gonna head back up around that 13 1400 meter line there was more sign up there and there's water I'd see the I dropped down to a thousand meters elevation I've camped at 11.50 <laughs> or there was the head of the creek at about 12.50-1300 so I don't know if I'm not going to be able to hunt all that well in this stuff which I'm struggling with this afternoon I've only moved about 150 metres just looking around but I was really hoping that I could glass onto this other face and I've been given a bit of a bump steer by Google. It shows it is quite open but I'm guessing that it's been burnt and the Google images are when it was um probably a lot lower. That's a bit of a shame but yeah. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna push back up. I'll stay on these faces and glass these but the reality is if I see something unless it's heading in a very definite direction it's that hard to get down through this stuff it's not funny we'll see